Hello. We've been hearing parables from Matthew's Gospel. The last two weeks have been about a sower sowing seeds and last week was about weeds and wheat growing in the field. Jesus told lots of stories and today's Bible reading has five parables, very short stories that Jesus told that would have been really familiar things to the people he was telling the stories to. But they were all about the kingdom of heaven and how the kingdom of heaven would grow. I've got two things here with me that feature in the parables today. The first is um, a packet of yeast. It's only very small. I've tipped the yeast out here so you can so you can see it. And yeast is something that's really important if you're making bread. And then the other thing I've got, which is in another of the parables, is very, very small indeed. I don't know if you can see that, that tiny, tiny seed. That's a mustard seed. And Jesus told two stories, one about yeast and one about the mustard seed and about how the kingdom of heaven would be like and how it would grow. Let's listen to those two stories now. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it is the smallest of all your seeds, yet when it grows it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and perch in its branches. Jesus said, The kingdom of heaven is like yeast, that a woman took and mixed in with her three measures of flour, until all of it was leavened. When you take just a little bit of yeast, it makes the flour grow. And it's only that, the yeast, that makes the bread rise up so that we can have baked bread rather than flat, unleavened bread, which is what it would have been called in Jesus's time. So those parables tell us about the growing of the kingdom and they start from something very, very small, with faith as small as that tiny, tiny mustard seed, God's kingdom will grow. So each one of us has a part to play. Each one of us can be part of God's kingdom growing here on earth. As it says in the Lord's Prayer, your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. And we, each of us, no matter how small, we can each of us grow God's kingdom. We're going to hear those five stories now from the Bible reading. And we're going to watch something as we hear that story. Here are some parables that Jesus told the crowd. The parable of the mustard seed. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed sown in a field. It is the smallest of seeds, but grows up into a huge bush. And the birds of the air come and nest in its branches. The parable of the leavened bread. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman mixes with three lots of flour until it is all leavened and ready to rise. parable of the hidden treasure. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. Someone finds it, hides it again, and then is so very, very happy. He goes and sells everything he has to buy the field.
the parable of the fine pearl. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant who is looking for fine pearls. He finds one very special and valuable pearl and goes and sells everything he has to buy it. The parable of the good and bad fish. The kingdom of heaven is like a net. The net is full of fish of all shapes and sizes. It is pulled ashore. The good fish are put in baskets while the bad fish are thrown away. And it will be like that at the end of time when the angels will separate the good from the bad. Just as the colours made the rainbow, each of them mixing with each other, we're all different, but each of us can have a special part to play in God's kingdom.